You know, I've I've been wanting to make an action movie since I was a little kid. I loved action movies. It's probably what made me want to make movies in the first place. You know, since then I've made movies that have action in them, but I, I've never made a full-blown action film. So this was very exciting for me to finally get to make one and to get to make one with the Russo brothers who've been doing it for the last decade was just, I, I felt very lucky that I got to work with them on this. And, uh, you know, for me it was, it was a hell of a ride and, uh, you know, I, I couldn't have had a better team. ¿Cuál fue el mayor desafío de El Hombre Gris? En La La Land, por ejemplo, aprendiste a tocar el piano en muy pocos meses. Hubo un desafío semejante acá. I think the action for sure was just, you know, very challenging. It's it's like I've never done anything like it and you know, I guess in most action films there's like four or five action set pieces and in this film there are nine action set pieces and I didn't know the difference because I've never made one, so this I thought this was normal, but you know, the Russo brothers and everybody on set was just sort of reeling all the time from the insane amount of action in this thing. So it was a challenge for all of us, but especially for me because I'd never done it. But but that's also what made it so exciting. It just was very physical and uh, a completely different way to um, you know to do scenes and communicate uh, a character you know through through action. ¿Por qué aceptaste este papel? ¿Por Netflix? ¿Por el guión? ¿Por los hermanos Russo? ¿O por todas esas razones juntas? All those things, you know, I... Um, the Russos, you know, you just couldn't work with two people that are more experienced in this genre, you know, they've been making films at this scale, you know, for the last decade, so it's... I knew I was in good hands. But, you know, it was really the character that I wanted to play, you know, I thought he was unique uh, in the genre because, you know, he's a spy who doesn't want to be a spy. He never wanted to be a spy. He never had any romantic ideas of, uh, of being a spy. You know, he, he's pulled out of jail to do this job and it's this or jail. And so he's still kind of a prisoner. And every situation he's in, you know, it's, it's like, an opportunity for him to live a little, you know, even though uh, he's meant to die. So he's he's trying to live a little before he dies. And I thought that made that made him kind of um, unique and compelling to play.